Hello everyone. Welcome to the new academic year at Emirates Private School. As we all are in a situation and opted for online learning, here is a short tutorial on how to access your online classes on Google Classroom. Now, for all the students of starting from KG1 up till grade 12, have been given two user IDs and two password. One of them is used to access the Horizon school portal where you can communicate with the teachers access your timetables and other things on the second hand we have a google live classroom for that you have a different user id and password now technically it is not very easy for anyone to manage to user id and password and access the classroom so we have introduced something called as a single sign on using a single user id and password it will give you an access to both Horizon portal as well as the Google Classroom. I will take you through a short tutorial where how do you log in or use the user ID and password which will give you an access to both of this thing that is Horizon school portal and the Google Classroom at once. In this whole process I prefer if you can use browser as Google Chrome it doesn't matter you can use a mobile phone a tablet laptop desktop whatever you are comfortable with or available to you preferably a Google Chrome as a browser so let's start a Google Chrome browser and we'll go to the website of Emirates private school which is www.epschad.com once you're on a website on the right hand side you will go to the user login and you will click on a student login once you click on a student login a page which comes in front of you is the horizon school portal now don't put any user id and password in this particular field as i'm telling you we have to use a single user id and password which will give an access to the horizon as well as the Google Classroom so don't put any user ID and password over here at the bottom you can see there is a Google icon and there is a sign in button click on Google sign in button and it will pop up a window now once you have this window most of you will be having some or the other same screen where you will be having your personal logins or maybe two three logins and all these things you can just go and say use another account once you click on this it will ask you for the user ID now the ID which has been provided to you it looks something like this as EPSP 284445 now just wanted to mention you over here in case if you are logging in to check your emails or something this is the ID and if you are logging into a Google classroom then this is the ID so now I'm using this particular ID over here click on next it will ask you for the password type in the password which is given to you and click on next now once you sign on it will take a few seconds if you see there is a process going on and it will take you to the horizon portal So once you are in the portal, the first and foremost thing what you will be needing is your class schedule or a timetable. So move your mouse on the left hand side. Now here you will see all these other options are there. You will be going and clicking on academics. Once you click on academic, you will be clicking on timetable. Once you click on a timetable, a page which appears in front of you is this. Click on open external. Once you click. Now this is your timetable. It will show you the time of the periods and the days. So you can go and check your timetable over here. Now once you check your timetable over here, you would like to join the Google Classroom. So I go back to the page where I have this Horizon portal. On the left hand side again, I have something called as a Google Classroom. Once you click on this, it will take you straight to a page where it is a Google Classroom page you don't need to sign in anything over here 
it's as simple as that a single sign on on emirates private school student login when you use google classroom you will come to the horizon portal from horizon portal you can check your timetable at the same time same from the horizon portal you will go and click on google classroom and it will open your classroom in front of you now as you are in your classroom how to join a classroom so we'll go back to the timetable and let's say for example monday first period that is 805 to 850 you have maths so we'll come back to the classroom and we'll look for the subjects math here i see math once you click on this you will come to this inside the classroom now you can see there is something over here called as a meet link so now what you'll be doing is you'll be clicking on the meet link and it will open another window which is the google meet window now it will pop you up somewhere else where it will ask you for the user id and password for the google which you have entered on the first page when you came here now just type the same user id and the password click next and you go back to the meet now you see your meet is over here just click on join now you can close it and your Google Meet is on here it shows this is your camera you have to keep your camera on throughout the class because this meeting will be recorded once you finish the class you have to disconnect it as when the teacher says the class is over you are supposed to disconnect it and this is your microphone it will be on and off based on whatever the teachers requirement is so they will tell you what to do if you have a question you can raise your hand over here if you understood you can say thumbs up thumbs down you did not understood or whatever it is all these things will go to the teacher in the chat window in case if you have to write something to a teacher you can go into this chat window and you can type your concern over here during the class whatever questions you have for the teacher you can type it over here just make sure you don't during the class you don't chat with your friends or something teacher have the authority to block you from the class and you cannot join the class back so this is what the class uh, Google classroom is and remember one more thing all the classes which teachers are conducting they are recorded so you will be having a video in your email which is recorded during the class session now how to check the video I'll show you that also for the time being I'm ending this session over here and now let's go and if you see I'll close this one if you see over here this Google Apps click on this Google Apps and you have Gmail once you click on a Gmail it will take you to your Gmail account and if you see this is the meet recording this type of recording will be in your email where you can go back and open this and you can watch the videos open this and you can watch the videos now I'm closing this over here uh, what I suggest to you is you download these videos in your local computer as and when it comes to you because again Google has a limited space so it's not possible to store everything on Google so you need to download all these video on your personal computers for the further reference or something so what you get along with the single user ID and password is an access to the horizon portal where you can check your timetable you can go to the dashboard you can communicate with the teacher those process remains the same you can communicate with the teachers and please keep checking the emails because all the communication from EPS also will come on this particular place you have an access to a Google classroom and you can join the live classroom I hope this tutorial has been useful for you in case if you still have a question you can drop a mail on the following email addresses or you can send a message on whatsapp 
on and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for sharing your time with us